Welcome, 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 collective. Back here again with another general intuitive energy reading for the collective. Thanks for tapping in. Thanks for stopping by. You know you're always welcome here. To my latest subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you. To my new subscribers, thank you also. And welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. With that being said, we're going to tap right in. Remember, I'm going to take what resonates and to leave what does not. Please and thank you. What's the message here for Holy Spirit? Oh, hold on. I got some cards out here. I'm going to leave that one at the top because that might mean something. Okay, something about lessons learned. Okay, so there's some lessons to be learned and, and something here, yeah, because it'll leave somebody in regret here. Okay. Well, somebody, you know, this could cause somebody some embarrassment or some shame. Okay, in a situation here. All right. Wow. Hmm. Somebody wants to confront somebody here. Well, let's see the spirit. Somebody's hurt uh, deeply behind something here. I'm like, somebody can't bear to look at somebody right now. Okay. Oh, now we have, let's see what this is. Clarify spirit. Somebody feels like they wasted their time in a situation here. Okay. Somebody's feeling pretty hurt. Sleepless nights. You know. Yeah. Somebody, you know, is want to tell their person that they need some time apart here. Okay. Yeah, somebody's want to tell their person they need some time apart. Yeah, and somebody's in regret here. Somebody's felt like they wasted time with, with somebody here. Okay, somebody's having sleepless nights here. Okay, yeah, they're in regret. I'm hearing a lot of lonely nights here. Sitting and waiting. And I don't know. Somebody's thinking about when they met somebody. Anxiety is keeping somebody awake at night. Um, because they're missing somebody. But they're in regret. Possibly because there's something that they found out about this person. Because they did, you know, have the opportunity to spend some time apart. I don't know if this was because of a separation or whatever. But somebody's in deep thought about something here. And somebody is... is um, you know, feeling pretty down right now about a situation, about some pain that somebody caused them is what I'm getting here. Somebody was not there for somebody when they needed them most here. Okay, this could be a partner, a family member, a friendship. Somebody feels like somebody let them down here. Okay, wow. Hmm. And just thinking about this person's kept somebody up at night here. They didn't see that this person was not who they said they were. Okay. All right. Hmm. So there's a karmic who was not showing somebody who they truly were. Now, somebody's looking back at the time they spent with this person. And they're upset um, because they didn't realize. They're, they're, they were wishing that they realized they had saw this person for who they were before they got into a commitment or relationship with them or even a bond with them okay it's what I'm getting here yeah this could have been somebody somebody feels like space and time uh, I really drew them apart from somebody here like yeah hmm somebody's all in their head about whether somebody truly loved them or not. All right. Yeah. Well, somebody said, shit, I don't need you, though. Okay, because somebody's getting over somebody here. Because lesson learned was the, the main energy out here. So somebody's seeing through the fog here that their person has totally been fake um, with them when it comes to love here. I mean, th there's been some thinking going on here. I'm some, I mean, some brainstorming going on about this relationship, about whether or not this person loved them. Okay. 
Wow, somebody's been having sleepless nights here. Okay, staying awake, you know, thinking about this person. Yeah, and now they're taking another um, approach as if, you know, this person, you know, thinks that they can't live without them, that they need them. But see, they're striving towards bigger and better things here. Okay, and away from this uh, karmic energy that um, was in their space here is what I'm getting here. Okay. Somebody's gaining the strength to walk away because somebody feels like somebody thinks that they need them. And collective, I hear you saying, I don't need you. You know, I can, I can, um, I can take it from here. I don't need you. Okay. Wow. Somebody's grown since uh, somebody's uh, been in separation or they spent some time apart. Yeah. Somebody's on the mission here. All right. Somebody's moving forward. Somebody's moving forward with determination here. Okay. Wow. And they're like, you know, I can, I can, I can um, get through this. Whatever obstacles that were put in my path, I can get through this. Somebody's striving for, to, you know, to be a better person or to look forward to being a better version of themselves here because somebody thought that they needed them. Yeah. Wow. We got 9999 here. Okay. So let's tap into this a little bit deeper. So why is somebody um in regret for choosing somebody that they were with? Okay, now that they see that this person was false. Alright. Um in a situation they thought this person loved them. But yeah. Maybe this was just somebody who wanted to make love to you, who, who wanted to get intimate with you, and you you thought it was uh, something more than that, and then this person started treating you like you needed them, and you're going to show them different. Since you've had a time, so had time to sp spend time apart from this person, you realize some stuff about yourself that you don't need this person, that you have your own purpose, and you have strong determination, whoever you are. Okay, wow, and you know that you can overcome any obstacle that's put before you. Yeah, you might look back on the situation and, and being regretful for spending time with this, this karmic person that you were dealing with in the past. Okay. Yeah. But you realize something that you didn't need this person. You you realize that this person uh didn't mean, you know, you well. This person didn't serve your highest good here. This person was actually uh wearing a mask. They were fake around you collective. Whoever this energy is, okay, I'm here. Fake love. <laughs> fake love. How can you fake love somebody? All right, tell us more about this spirit. Hold on, collective. Yeah, I'm getting that. Somebody felt like the vibe was off here. Okay. All right, you could be an emperor. Okay. You could be this emperor that's feeling like the vibe is off in your relationship here. You can regret being with somebody that you chose to to uh, give your love to or something like that here. Okay. This person uh, must have gave the appearance that they that you needed them or something like that. And yeah, you're going to show them different and you don't need them. Or either this is you, uh, Divine Film, but I'm picking up on the Emperor here. Okay, it could be something about an Emperor's vibes here. Okay. They pick up on the vibe that somebody's not being totally honest with them. Okay. Shit. Somebody's striving uh, more towards a, a a relaxed relationship since they've been apart with their person here. Somebody could have recently, you know, broke up with somebody here. Okay, they learned a lesson from this relationship about this karmic they was dealing with. Okay, the vibe was off. They couldn't relax, okay? Either this emperor could relax or this person couldn't relax with this emperor here. But there was some time spent apart here and somebody was able to see somebody for who they truly were here. What else? Yeah, they were selling this person an illusion. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, they were selling this person an illusion and they figured it out when they spent some time apart here. What else is here, Spirit? Please and thank you. The tables turn. Turn. Now they suffering. Okay, yeah, because somebody is in regret here. Yeah, somebody's sorry, but it's after the fact. Okay, you're sorry after the fact. Whoever this is, somebody's sorry for after the fact because they made a bad choice here. Okay, because they're realizing whoever they were dealing with, that they got these bad vibes from. Okay, 
Wow. That this person was being fake the entire time. Okay. Wow. They weren't crazy. I'm hearing they were just fake as fuck. <laughs> wow. Somebody's ending it with somebody here. And somebody's excited about ending it with this motherfucker. Whoever this is. Yeah. I'm hearing them say, you don't have no authority over my life or over my decisions anymore. What's here? Yeah. It says somebody only wants sex here. Mm-hmm. Somebody only wants sex out of this relationship here. Okay. Somebody may want to talk now because somebody's really, really um, thinking about, you know, how sorry they are because maybe somebody did just use somebody for their body for masculine in this situation here. All right. But somebody didn't have a conscience here. Okay. Or somebody wasn't aware uh, that, that you didn't need them is what I'm getting here. So let's see what the T is. Okay. What's the T here, spirit? For the collective, please and thank you. What's the energy here? What do they need to know? What do they need to be aware of? Why do they get bad vibes from this person? Why do they get bad vibes from this person? I don't know if there's something about this person that uh, you couldn't figure out, collective. Okay, maybe you never got the facts. Maybe you never got the proof. Um... You know, maybe you realize this person was just selling you an illusion. They was making shit up as they went along, okay? You know, lies, you know, just being fake, okay? But they never proved their love to you is what I'm hearing, okay? For some of y'all, y'all, you know, it was, it was just a sex thing, okay? With this person. Yeah, now somebody wants to talk, okay? Now that you decided to move on. Okay, realizing that you made a bad choice with this person, realizing this person wasn't shit. Okay, they was ego tripping is what I hear because they thought you needed them. And yeah, you said, I don't need you with your ego tripping ass. Okay, wow, you got away from that person. You got away, you got out of that relationship because you don't kiss ass. Okay, you're not an ass kisser, whoever you are. Okay, shit, I heard you on a mission. You on a mission. You don't fuck with dirty people with dirty offers or, or dirty minded motherfuckers that want to serve dirty offers. You don't eat up of those plates is what I hear. What else is here, spirit? Please and thank you. Yeah, this person was just clout hungry. That's why they thought you needed them. Okay. Wow. Yeah, you see, you're seeing this person for who they are. Yeah, that's what I said. They were clout hungry. They were clout hungry. Whoever this person was here. And maybe for some of y'all, they wanted to be uh, with y'all just for sex here is, is, is what I'm getting here. But the vibe was off, okay? Wow. See, the tables are turning with this on this person now because they thought you needed them so bad, collective. No. You don't need them. You don't kiss ass. You don't need them. And this is what they didn't know about you. But now they need you. They need, they're realizing they need you. Okay, but see when they were with you, you know they had all these uh toxic uh toxic uh, patterns about themselves here. They were very um you know unhealthy in in the way that they presented themselves as far as you know a relationship. For some of y'all, y'all were dealing with somebody that was possessive and they, they were ego tripping. And they, you know, wanted to have you and, you know, like do whatever they wanted to at the same time. But you probably never um, found any facts or, you know, anything like that. But you know, this person was lying to you. You could never found any, any facts or any truth to whether or not they were meeting up with somebody for sex or something like that. You didn't know, but you just felt that something was shady. Something was off here about this person. And you decided to walk away. This person was ego tripping and clout hungry. Yeah. This person was saying to do anything or make some shit up here. Hmm. But see, now the table's turning on this shady ass uh, karmic here. Okay. <laughs> and now they all in their damn head. <laughs> 
because they realize when you don't kiss ass collective they are realizing you don't kiss ass now they're learning a lesson here thank you spirit nine 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 they're learning a lesson here okay wow you ain't trying to fight nobody over this person okay you ain't trying to fight nobody <laughs> Or, yeah, or this relationship ain't worth fighting for is what I hear. But whoever you were dealing with got love on the brain now. Yeah. They see now that they had you. When they had you, they hit the jackpot with you. And that's why you all in their head, all on their mind here. But see, they abuse a, a earth angel here, a chosen one. Or well, they thought they could. Okay. Now you ain't in communication with this person. Mm-hmm. You don't you don't kiss ass here. Wow. Now this person won't talk to you. They got a conscious all of a sudden. All of a sudden they found their damn conscious. Before when they was with you, they didn't have a conscious. But now all of a sudden they done found their conscious here. Yeah, they shady. They shady. This person may come back around you, want to buy you something nice or something like that. Or, you know, do something nice for you. Spirit said they shady. Uh huh. Spirit come through. Said they'll be wasting their time because you're not. You're moving forward. You're not buying the bullshit no more. But this person do want to talk to you again, whoever you are. Okay. Cause you all in this person's head. You all in this person's head. This person is stressed out thinking about you now because they know they fucked up. Click. Do they know they fucked up because you're moving on? And they done lost a good thing. They lost a good thing. This person may want to come back and start some drama though. Okay. Or they might start some shit on, on the internet, online, on one of your platforms, one of your social media sites. You know, they may um, try to find some information on you or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person may try to come back and, and gaslight you, sweet talk you, or something like that, or just try to get back in. You know, saying that they, um, that you can't prove anything that they did wrong or they didn't do anything wrong. So bad for y'all to be in separation. It's not that bad. And that's only because the table's turned on this, uh, damn karmic over here. Okay. They, they got a conscience now where before they didn't have a conscience on how they, how they did you. You knew the vibe was off. Yeah. You moving on. Now this person, you know. Well, they can't get no information on you. They don't know what you're doing. So they out in their head about you here. Because if this person was still with you, they'd just be arguing with you. And you couldn't relax around this person. They'd still be meeting up with other people. You know, and stuff like that. You know, damn. This clout hungry, narcissist ass, uh, karmic here. Yeah. Spirit said, so you decided not to waste your time. And when you decide not to waste your time, the table's turned on this uh, person here. Yeah, someone might be sending you some threatening uh, messages or something like that. What's this spirit? They might be sending you some threatening messages or something because you're moving on. You're moving away from this person. I mean, some of y'all, yeah, they might be sending y'all some threatening text messages or something like that here. See this person, whoever this person cheated on you with, they they uh they was known for sleeping around and hooking up with different people here, and now your person feel embarrassed here. Okay, yeah, up to I'm hearing up to the old tricks again. Okay, up to the old tricks again. See that's why they getting this bad karma here. Okay, because they was cloud hungry out here fake flexing and shit, you know what I'm saying? This this a motherfucker that, you know, be a masculine family, they don't even take care of their own kids, but they like to show off and shit. You know what I'm saying? Take care of your house, take care of your kids and pay your motherfucking bills. I'm talking to this karmic ass bitch, okay? Or this karmic ass nigga. Take care of your shit, quit fake flexing out here and shit. You out here partying with fucking bill money and shit. What the fuck wrong with you? Money that you could be putting clothes on your children's back with food on the fucking table. You out here fake flexing and shit. Just so you pick up some bad karmics out here. You know what I'm saying? Meeting them, meeting up for sex and shit. What the fuck wrong with you? Are you trying to show this nigga you got money? Or, or this nigga trying to show you they got money? But that's fucking money that needs to be put on, you know, uh, something positive is what I hear. How you gonna go out with the fucking bill money? 
Sit your motherfucking monkey ass down. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you dusting this motherfucker off, whoever you are. You dusting him off. You don't want nothing else to do with that shit. Why they start to study trying to look you up is what I hear. They're trying to look you up. I don't need to make you a dirty offer, but you ain't going to accept that bullshit. Okay, this person may be traveling towards you if y'all are in separation here. Does this person want to start some kind of fight? Uh, cock fight. Uh, they want to fight over the cock or something like that. Okay, that's what I'm getting here because I did pick up. They could be threatening or uh, whatever. They could want to come back and threaten you because they have a conscience now about what they've done because the tables are turned down. They're suffering. So with the suffering being here, you know, somebody's fucking bothered. They want to know what the fuck you've been doing. But they was the one fucking around on you. But now they're mad because they want to know what you've been doing. They, they want to look you up. Because they got with somebody that, that didn't have a um, a good reputation. They hooked up with the wrong person here. Okay. Whoever they met up with for sex. They met up with the wrong person here. Damn. Now I'm getting they want to dust that person off. Like they never met that motherfucking person. Out here spending and building money on these karmics. Now they want to sit back. And now that they have a conscience. Guess what? Collector. They want to be sitting back crying over you now. So what the fuck they get spirit said the tables turn now they gonna be suffering they wanted you to suffer wow the tables have turned now they suffer they didn't want to decide to meet up with somebody um for sex not you collective now you 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 waited on this person long enough lesson learned they asked and played out with you they don't play it out but they looking you up for is what i hear you say One more spirit. What they looking up you for? What they played out as? They played themselves and played themselves out of position here. And be it uh, uh, feminine masculine, whoever it is, yeah, they played themselves out of position out of your motherfucking life. You may not have had no facts. They was meeting up with people for uh, you know sex, but you caught the vibe though. You caught the vibe. Y'all remember that song? <laughs> You got the vapors. I don't know why they came to my mouth. Yes, motherfucker crying over you. I can't make it up. They want you back. They want you back. It's up to you. You know, we all have free will. It's up to you. You want this person back or not, but this person is just cloud hungry. You know, the table's turned on this person. Now, all of a sudden, the, the way this person treated you, they realizing that they treated you, you know, bad. You know, they treated you wrong. Now they have a conscience all of a sudden. Now they got, you know, they went over there meeting up with other people for sex. And the shit didn't turn out right for them. Now they want to come back your way. But you moving on. Because this person thought that you needed them. That you couldn't survive without them. That you couldn't do without them. You know, they really just thought that you was a, a you know, that they was an intricate part of your life. Like you couldn't breathe without this motherfucker. But you showing them different. You showing them different. Now all of a sudden they want to have a conscience. Because they hadn't got out there and the tables and turned on their ass. They didn't got out there and got with a karmic. They probably played the shit out of them. And they got a bad vibe from their karmic. Yeah, the one they was meeting up with sex for. And they gonna come back and try to tell you, gaslight you, and tell you what you know. You don't have no proof that I did nothing with nobody. They gonna be lying. I ain't do nothing with nobody. No, I didn't do nothing with nobody. Yeah, yeah, yes they did. They was meeting up for sex. That's what spirit said. Mm -hmm. And now they got a conscience because they didn't got out, out there and got fucked over. Why well, they thought they was fucking over you, but you moved on. Lesson learned. Okay, you moved on. But now this person was made to learn a uh, made to learn a lesson for fucking over you. Hmm. Yeah, them tables turn, baby. And now this person is suffering. And they want you back. They yeah, they sitting somewhere crying over you. Want you back and shit. But guess what? You said, I don't want your played out ass. You played out. I don't want your funky ass no more. Keep your funky ass away from me. They started trying to find out information about you. Just seeing if you hooked up with somebody or seeing if you're still single. Seeing if they still got a way in. I don't know. It's up to you, uh, collective. Okay, it's up to you. With that being said, I'm going to end the message for now. Until next time, namaste.